Okay. First, first thing I see. Former NHLer Cliff Ronning may have left the spotlight of the NHL, but he's still very involved in the sport of hockey. Rather than scoring goals in the show, he's now perfecting them with his stick company, Base Hockey. What we do is we work with the kids uh, shooting and start learning how they shoot. Do they shoot from the toe we, or they shoot from the heel? Um, what position they play? Uh, what difficulties they're having? So we really work one-on-one -on -one with the player. So if it's a defenseman and he's always shooting over the net, most likely we got to find a curve to keep the shot down, maybe get the flex a little stiffer for him. So that's really what we're, we're doing here. Prior to purchasing a stick from base hockey, players go through an hour-long session with one of the ex-pros and your shot is evaluated by both the pro and by camera. It is then broken down and played back to show you where you need improvements. And with the information collected from the camera, the data is configured into building your own personalized stick. Stick, my ear will end up over my front foot, my hip will turn to the target. It's like shooting so you're able to get the rebound. You want to come down and the defenseman shoot right past them. The best players, that's what they do. But Ronning isn't the only NHLer involved in base hockey, as he has partnered with other former pros, including Eli Afraidy, Jeff Friesen, Glenn Anderson, and former Edmonton Oiler defenseman Chris Joseph. We think, as, as with base, that uh, our business is twofold. It's one, the sticks, which we think are top quality sticks. But the one thing that we offer that Bauer and Easton and all the other ones don't offer is we offer the professional one-on-one -on -one analysis. So we'll spend an hour with the child and get them to shoot the way that they're supposed to shoot. Uh, we'll change some of the flex and some of the lie. Uh, we'll change the way they're moving their body, the way they're, um, you know, they're, they're thrusting off their legs and, and just the way they're rolling their wrists. So they'll get a lot of that. So even if uh, the stick's not uh, the perfect stick for them. They're getting an education at the same time, so uh, we believe, and I think a lot of the parents believe, that the education that they're getting as far as sticks is more valuable than the actual stick. What exactly were you doing wrong? Well, I was doing the chicken wing and I wasn't following through. Here, show me what you were doing wrong. I was going like, going like this, and I wasn't pointing to my target. I was finishing like that. Okay, now how did he correct it for you? He he told me to go shoulder in early and then follow through and point to your target. We got a lot of kids that uh, will lean backwards as they're shooting the puck and what we're trying to get them to do is uh, transfer their body weight forward, get their head and their shoulders and uh, their front foot going forward uh, because it just stands to reason that if, if you can shoot a puck 10 miles an hour and you're skating 5 miles an hour, that's a 15 mile an hour shot. So. We want them thrusting their bodies forward, moving forward, and then we'll work on the, uh, the movements with the upper body as well, and we'll get uh, a double, double whammy, so to speak, when it comes to shooting the puck. So if you're in the market for a new stick and don't know what to buy, Base Hockey may be able to help you by making the right stick for you. With Shaw TV, I'm Craig Monty.